Hey everyone, today we're ranking the main killer themes that you hear in the main menu of the game from worst to best. I'm only going to be playing a brief segment for each of the different music tracks just to keep things concise. I will leave a link to a playlist in the description though if you do want the full experience of these tracks. For this we have four tiers, basic default music, good unique music, great unique music, and finally amazing unique music. As always, these are just my thoughts, and for something like music there's always going to be a lot of variation of what is good and what isn't. So please do drop your own favourite killer themes or thoughts on the themes down below. Let's get into it. Starting off with the basic default music tier. In this tier we have Trapper, Wraith, Nurse, Huntress, Hag, Cannibal, Freddy and Pig. These eight characters all have the base theme, which is kind of a shame, but they were all released fairly early on, when unique themes weren't really a thing yet. The track is pretty good too, it's just it's somewhat lessened by the fact that it's more of a universal track and doesn't remain specific to any one character. I think it fits well for Trapper, as the first killer, but the other characters would definitely benefit from having a track of their own. I do like the harsh sound of this track though, there's something that feels so classic about this now. Again, fitting for Trapper, but I feel new tracks are needed for those who don't have them yet. Onto the good unique music tier. Shapes music is cool for the first few seconds where we get some notes from the Halloween theme, but then it quickly sinks back down to just the basic default theme. It's a cool little nod to the films and the character, but it's still just this very brief section, which is kind of a shame. Spirits 1 I feel doesn't really fit her that well. A bit like for the chase track, I think more of a combo between calm sounds and aggressive sounds would be the best. Here it's kind of just this fairly mellow track, quite slow, there's a few extended notes that have this screech to them, but overall it doesn't feel too fitting I find. Ghost Faces is fairly simple but does manage to nail the ghosty's vibe. It's meandering and mysterious, and sounds like the kind of track that would suit him creeping around and peeking around corners. The slow rise of notes creates this really uncomfortable feeling, and it works very well. Quite simple, but fitting. Doctor's theme I feel is quite similar to the regular theme, just with some more electricity spiky sounds, crackles and fizzes. It's also a bit of a harsher and harder sound. It fits him quite well, but it doesn't vary too much from that basic track. Hillbillies is another case of simple but very fitting for the character. This track I believe is an adjusted version of the basic or default track. It sounds amazing though and fits Hillbilly and his chainsaw near perfectly. It feels very angry and aggressive and has this constant rise and fall. Again, simple but very fitting. Clowns is kind of in the same vein, except it ramps it up a bit. This one I like a bit more just because there's more to it. There's a great cohesion between all the different instruments or sounds. It's also got this circusy vibe to it, which is super cool, but keeps the creepiness and unsettling nature of the clown intact too. Plague's track is my personal favourite out of these tracks that are more similar to the default tracks. Oh, 
I love the solemnness of it, but also the tragic undertone you kind of get. It's also a much clearer and more organised sound, with a sudden precision to each of its parts. It's pretty cool and has this really nice vibe to it. Okay, onto the great unique music tier. Executioner's theme does in part touch on those default notes, but also has another section that does its own thing. You get the harsh metallic jolts and the creepy and mysterious higher notes. There's a really calm and eerie point in this song too, where most of the louder stuff goes away, and it's this cool reflection in comparison to the rest of the track. Artist is next and has a very unique theme, which is janky and feels almost confusing to listen to, as it has these jumps and strange cuts. It gives it this really unnerving quality. It's also a track that's quite reminiscent of classical music. The whole thing feels like this weird and disruptive journey. Then there's these nice sounds too that occasionally pop up that sound a lot like crows, which is pretty interesting. Oni's, as much as I like it, does a bit like his chase music, lack the really harsh or percussive elements I feel. It's great still though, and has this war march quality to it. When you hear this, you can picture the hulking Oni trudging through a battlefield with his armour, and you can imagine his roar breaking through the air. One part that does nearly hit that really percussive point is the crescendo-like moment where you have all these rapid drum sounds come together, which is probably my favourite part of the track. Deathsinger's track is pretty great and really hits the right tone for his character. The sharpness of it, but also the slower pace is really nice. Then there's these creepy, scratchy or screechy moments which sound almost like animalistic I suppose. It's also got that wild westy vibe to it. Very character fitting and I especially like the weird, screechy, eerie part. Twins track feels like a slightly better version of Pyramid Heads. I feel the sound it creates with these twinkly sounds and what might be a violin or something like that too, works really well for creating this mysterious but equally dangerous sound. It also does a great job at having the harsher elements alongside the calmer and more focused or refined ones. Tricksters is up next, and as much as I like it, I still wish it was a bit more unique, seeing as this is our musical character. There's very cool elements to it, like the whispery, unnerving vocals in the background. I do like how it's basically one of the Trickster's songs merged with the default theme though. That is pretty interesting. And there's a nice beat or rhythm to this, but it still feels like it needs a bit more. That's probably just me being very particular due to his character though mostly. Legions is like a really hard and harsh metal version of the default theme, with a few note variations. It feels really fitting for the characters having these loud and percussive instruments. It fits the Legion, with their power centering on rage. Also, looking at the mixtape add-ons for the Legion, it fits in with Frank's mixtape especially well. It would be cool honestly if we got a slight variation on the Legion song that represented their different mixtapes whenever you switch between the different Legion members, so they each have like a slightly different sound. I believe someone mentioned that in the Chase Music Tearless video. I thought that was a cool idea. Equally though, I realise that's quite un 
unnecessary, and there's more important things to focus on. Cool to think about though, and I would love to see that in-game. Finally, let's move on to the amazing unique music tier. Demogorgon's theme is very cool. It's quite simple honestly, but part of what makes it so good is just the large differentiation in sound. It sounds so unique and distinct, despite it following the very familiar default theme pattern. The Stranger Things vibe, the ongoing mystery, the otherworldliness of it, it just feels so spot on for Demo. Not just as a character, but almost as a representative for Stranger Things. Next up we have Cenobite. Cenobite has this great cinematic quality to his theme, with these cool operatic parts to it, where there's this high-pitched scene singing. It sounds very epic and grandiose, and generally just quite cool. It's also got this almost harrowing element to it, like you're looking on and just know that you're doomed. Blights has a similar epic feeling to it, and also a similar feeling of hopelessness almost, like Pinhead's track. It feels experimental and unsettling, and is very fitting for the Blight. I feel this music really gives you a sense of the character, and the before and after, the man who is now a monster. It's hard to explain, but there's like a solemn but also triumphant quality to it. Like he's partly succeeded, but he's also lost so much too. I think it's the windy rise and fall of the notes that does this. I'm not too sure though. Finally, we have Nemesis. Now, I feel almost boring for picking this one to be in the top spot, but it just sounds really cool and I feel fits the hulking mass of Nemesis so well. It feels like the kind of music you hear when you enter the final boss room. I love it. It's got the power, the mystery, the energy, the constant pounding beat. It's even got some slightly more calm and reflective moments. Amazing in my opinion. Alright, well that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed and be sure to drop your own thoughts on this and your favourite track down below. Thanks! And goodbye.